Child, I still, whew, still acting like my little behind can't breathe. <sighs> hey y'all, it's Ashley at Bookish Realm and I'm back with another video. As you can see from the title of this video, I wanted to talk about something that I think I've touched on a little bit on my channel through the means of like other videos, like videos about managing my mental health while being a part of the community thinking about one time I think I potentially like almost quit booktube another video I've talked a little bit about you know my time here in the community and when do I foresee it coming to an end and it's had me thinking a little bit about booktube burnout uh content creation burnout and even burnout from viewers I think that that is also very legitimate very valid and it's something that happens and I wanted to talk a little bit about that, I think, in terms of like my own personal experience. And so I I think I, I'm not there yet. But do you know when you like you feel like you're on the cusp of something, like you feel like something's about to happen, you're not there yet, but you're stepping into that moment. I think for me, I part of me feels like I'm stepping into that moment where I feel a little burnout. And it's not burnout for me in the sense that there's no new ideas, which I think also is a valid part of burnout. I think that, you know, there are tons of us who are just super creative humans and that's just a gift that we have others of us may not be as creative but we do this for fun but it's easy to feel like sometimes you're kind of like running out of ideas like okay you know I've done this before how many different ways can I talk about books and I think that's the most difficult part about having such a niche like hobby is or being part of a niche social media kind of group is that, you know, how many different ways can you flip flop and, and make reading a book interesting? <laughs> you know, and it's it's a, a lot about the entertainment value nowadays than just sometimes sitting in front of a camera and just talking about the books that you've read. Not that people don't get value out of stuff like that or that it's content that's not watched, but a lot of people are looking for that entertainment value, which is a very valid and, and real thing. But I think for me, the booktube burnout is coming from just the stress of everything. And I'm just thinking about like how much I have on my plate, you know, I constantly think about, you know, how much am I taking on and it's just not in this community. I, I think about it in terms of my job, my personal life. I know y'all are tired of me saying it, but it does really inform how I interact on this platform. It interacts like it, it really interacts with and, and determines what content you get from me working full-time, having a full-time job, uh, raising a kid, having somewhat of trying to have somewhat of a social life, you know, having a kid now that's getting older that wants to be involved in extracurricular activities that takes up like most of your time, for me becomes an issue of like, how am I balancing these things? How am I making sure that I am putting time aside for me? And a lot of times I don't feel like I do a good job good job of that I don't prioritize me enough and that is starting to become a major concern for me and it inevitably is starting to lead to these feelings of am I burning out on content creation does that mean that I want to leave the community right now absolutely not I wouldn't I'm not this not no clickbait no nothing like that this isn't some oh Ashley's leaving the community no that when that time comes I promise you it will be straightforward and I will tell you exactly when that time will come is that time coming nearer than what i anticipated i think so and you know we'll cross that bridge when we get there it's it's not me wanting to leave the booktube community it's me wanting to stall on content it's this kind of back and forth with you know do i even feel like sitting in front of a camera do i even feel like coming up with like content do I feel like having this discussion do I feel like putting this energy because some days I'm like I just want to come home and sit on the couch like you know and do whatever but I also know that there's no re you're not rewarded for that and so YouTube throws you into this up and down cycle that it's hard not to fall into and it's easy to say well you, you shouldn't be concerned about what things happen but let me explain something to you the reality of the situation is is that you put a lot of time and effort into your content and yes this is a hobby i keep telling y'all all the time i do not make enough money doing this to support an entire family ain't no way 
I cannot quit my day job behind this hobby of mine, okay? The supplemental income is nice, but I'm not making enough. I'm not rolling in the money. I got bills to pay and raising a child is not cheap. So it, it's it's not about the money. It's like you want your channel to maintain some sense, I think, of like normalcy. You don't want to be like, oh, I want to take a break. And then YouTube's like, screw you. Like we hate your channel now. It's hard not to want to maintain where you're at or see yourself grow because you put so much time and energy into your channel, into, com you know, communicating with viewers or engaging and building this networking and, and, and this community. It's hard not to want to see your channel be successful. It's hard to be like, oh, I'm just going to stop fielding cold turkey. Like, for me, I think I have that, that issue, that boundary. I have a, a strong issue and it's wild because I don't have issues with boundaries in my personal life but drawing a boundary with wanting to do content creation is something that I struggle with and I'm not ashamed to say that because I think YouTube makes me fearful of stopping it makes me feel like all the work that I put in will be for nothing if I decide that I need a break and that is what is so detrimental about this platform. And that's what leads to burnout, I think, in any community. But just in my experience and being a part of BookTube, it leads to burnout because you're like, I literally just want to take a vacation. It's like, you know, you're working a job and you put in, you know, a couple of weeks for PTO because you want to go on a vacation. You go on a vacation, you have to think about, oh, I have the book film to make sure I still have content going up while I'm on vacation. That's wild. It's wild to have that logic, but I think that that is a normal part of, and it's not everyone. I'm not saying that these are the thoughts. I can't speak for everyone in this community. I'm only speaking from my own experience, which I think in some ways is just a tad bit unhealthy, to be honest with you, which is why I get into these phases where I'm like, oh, I don't want to sit in front of a camera right now. Like, I would do anything else but sit in front of a camera. Like, I haven't stopped reading, no nothing. Like, I, I just want to read and not have to sit down and talk about reading. <laughs> you have those moments, but then you, when you take those breaks, you're like, dang, I really miss the community. And then in the background, YouTube saying, screw you for taking a break because we're not going to reward you for not consistently uploading content for two weeks. You've completely lost your mind if you think you're going to hop back on this platform and then all of a sudden things are going to be peachy keen. So it's it's like a lose-lose situation and, and you have to find some sort of balance. And I think I'm just in a place right now where I'm trying to find balance. And essentially, at some point, I am going to have to let all this go because I'm not going to be able to maintain. The reality of the situation is, you know, I want to make moves in my career. I have a kid that's getting older that is going to want to do everything under the sun. I have a personal life, you know, relationships in my personal life that I think take priority over some of this stuff. And so I, I have to cut back somewhere and eventually I think I'm going to have to come to a point where it's like I can't continuously upload content the way that I've done content. I can't continuously, you know, get on lives the way that I've done in the past. I just don't know that that flexibility will always be something that I can maintain in my life. I, I know it's not something I can maintain in my life. I think it's just coming to grips with how do I kind of pull back a little bit and but keep a balance where I'm satisfied with my channel, with the content and and maintain, you know, everything else that I have going on behind the scenes. And, you know, speaking of other burnout, I think that what's interesting is that sometimes, I don't know if this is for anybody else, sometimes when I experience content creation burnout, I also experience burnout watching other content creators. I have done a horrible job in the past two to three months with watching booktube content. I, I just haven't been doing it. And it's nothing to anything that anyone has done. I, I you know, I don't think that the people that I follow are making boring content. Like, it's not one of those things where it's like, you know, I can't find anything to watch on, on, on in the booktube community because for me, there's always new creators out there, new voices that are just, you know, putting out some amazing things that I'm excited to discover and, and you know, fall back into just watching so much of their content. But lately, I've noticed there's been this correlation between if I am burnt out on the creation side, I, I just don't even want to see another creator's work either. Like, and it's not them. I think it's just that 
association at that point. It's because I've built this association or this relationship with with content that the idea of even seeing someone else create content just makes me feel even more overwhelmed and more burned out. And so I have been noticing lately that I, you know, I think yesterday was the first day that I actually sat down and dedicated, you know, a little bit of time to watching things that people have been uploading in the past couple of weeks, but I just have not been engaging. I haven't been leaving content and comments. I haven't been sharing anything really. It just has been I would say an uphill battle, but it's been kind of like, where do I see myself in the next couple of years in this community? Because I can't be here forever. And I'm starting to notice that, that the older I get, the older my child gets, the more things I start doing within the framework of my job, I cannot maintain this. And I always ask this question of people who do content creation, like how do you figure out when it's your time to bow out gracefully. I think for me, I am so fearful that I'm just gonna have to be like, like I'm gonna have to be forced out. Like I'm not gonna have an option but to walk away from it because my schedule on the back end is just too complicated for me to even manage possibly doing content creation. And the reality of the situation is, is that I can't do this for the rest of my life, which is, it sucks because I feel like I have my quirks with the community, right? I'm like, oh gosh, you know, there are videos all up and down my channel where I have quirks with, with the booktube community or the bookish community in general. But you know, I've made some amazing friends in this community. I've had some great experiences. I've had some lessons taught to me in this community. And it's kind of hard to walk away from something like that. I, I also have trouble letting go of things that I grow attached to. I have, I have trouble letting, letting go. And so for me, it's just kind of like, at some point you are going to have to let go because it's not mentally healthy to continue these cycles of, you know, intensity in the community and engagement and watching and recording and uploading and doing all of this to then like, oh gosh, you know, I walk in the house and I see this camera and I'm like, uh, uh, this is it ain't fit. like I literally like it is not about to happen today like I cannot I do not have the strength to sit down and talk about anything and I think for me too I think sometimes um on the back end I struggle with content creation be creation create create creation creation <laughs> creation because my schedule doesn't permit I think some of the more ambitious goals that I have like I would love to do more creative reading vlogs which I do you know I love doing the band book diary I loved you know doing the around the world reading challenge still in the midst of doing that I love doing just you know the random things like the the mermaid vlogs and it it's not about the views for me at this point I, I can't the views are not connected to my worth as a creator that's not what I'm talking about what I'm talking about is that I literally it's hard for me to do that stuff because of the way my schedule works I would love to be able to do like these huge elaborate projects which there is one that I'm working on but I need like a year to do something like that I can't crank out something like that every single month because I just don't have the support to be able to do that on the back end you know I having a toddler and and going to work from 8 to 5 30 coming home and having to be you know the role of mom, you know, I'm at work, I'm, I'm, you know, support system there. Um, a lot of hats that I wear there. I come home, those hats get taken off. I'm instantly mommy, you know, and then after, you know, that change into the hat of, of content creator. And so I just don't, I, in, in my day and now in my weekends, I just don't have the capacity to put out that sort of content that I want to put out. Like, I'm in the midst of a project that I really would love to get up by next week, but it's, this is all contingent upon like how my schedule goes. I start so many projects. I wish, what I need to do is do a video on all the projects that I literally have started, even with books that I've read that were initially part of projects, but I just couldn't continue because I don't have the time. Like time is, is the biggest, it's the most personal, most expensive commodity, like because you just don't you, you have to be so careful with your time. And I this time that I don't have and I wish I could dedicate 
more time to the creative nature that I think I do have. I have that in my work life, but it's like by that time, I have that in my personal life, but bringing it here is harder because I just don't have the time and support. You know, if I didn't have the roles and responsibilities that I had at work, if I wasn't a parent, I think that maybe it would allow for some more flexibility, but I think I have to get out of this mode too of of trying to keep up with the Joneses because I also think that, that that drives the burnout because it's just not, it's literally something that I cannot do. It's not something that I'm not capable of doing, but the time won't permit me to do it. And that in itself, I think is frustrating. I really do. I think it's frustrating. There's some really fun things that I wish that I had the capacity and time to do. But right now, like at this point in my life, I just don't have it. And so I, I would love... I'm, this is very stream of consciousness, by the way, like literally it's this is not even a venting session. This is just really, I think, kind of more so like behind the scenes of like what it's like to be a content creator that has as much as I have going on in the background. And it's a lot more than what I communicate to y'all just because it's just not it don't feel like this is the space to do that. So I just want to figure out the best way to keep myself satisfied with the content that I'm putting out, but also not falling into this trap of, or this cycle of burnout, I'm fine, burnt out, I'm fine, burnt out, I'm fine. And it's just not healthy. It's not healthy. It's not giving me enough time for me. I, you know, I, this is not just related to book two, but I just have noticed just in life in general, I don't feel like I'm necessarily dedicating enough time to myself. And the easiest thing to remove from the equation is this. But then it's like, I don't want to give this up yet because I'm not ready to let go of it. But I would be a liar if I didn't say like this is something that I have thought about, like maybe, you know, in the next year and a half or so, I really need to start evaluating where my place is in this community and you know do I have the capacity and time for it anymore which or do I just need to cut back and be like oh yeah you know four videos a month like once a week that's all I can give you know at this point I'm uploading um you know sometimes two times three times a week and that's not even with you know the comic book channel too I that's like you know and I love that channel I love putting out content for that channel but I'm satisfied if I just put one video out a week on that channel because it, the pressure is not as high and that's what's wild about it is that the stakes don't feel as high on that channel it feels very low-key which is why it's like if I upload I upload if I don't I don't and so I I think that that mentality that I have for that channel maybe because I went into that channel with a different mentality, I view that channel differently, that maybe I need to adapt that to this channel, which is just hard. It's hard, especially for those of you who have been with me like since the very beginning. I just don't wanna end, I just don't wanna end it yet. But I know that this place of burnout can lead to resentment and, and anger and frustration and unwarranted views and perspectives of of the community that just aren't necessary. So yeah, I, I mean, you know, I, I think that the burnout is real. I'm, sh I'm sure I'm not the only creator who has experienced this before. And I know y'all as viewers get burnt out, you know? I've had viewers say like, you know, I, I, I needed to take a break, I haven't been watching, which I never, let me make this very, very clear, okay? I never fault y'all if you don't watch my content, if you don't comment, because life is life y'all have lives just like we do okay i don't know you personally i only know most of you by your usernames and different people comment on every single video so there's there's no expectation there don't expect people to do anything because you don't have to do anything for me um you know, so I recognize too that on the viewer side, the burnout can be real. You know, you're following all of these content creators like from down to whether we're all producing similar content, whether we're all talking about the same thing, whether you just kind of fall out of love with it, maybe you're bored, it, you know, you cycle in and out too. I just want to figure this thing out as a creator. And I don't have the answers yet, which is wild that, you know, I'm sitting down here. And usually I think sometimes when I do these videos, I feel like I have a solution, but this time I don't. 
I don't have a solution. I don't even have answers for you. Very, like I said, this is very uh, stream of consciousness. As most of these videos are, the stream of consciousness. There, there's no script. There's no plotting of points that I want to discuss. Like everything that just came up my mouth was just totally off the top of the dome, which editing me sometimes is satisfied. And sometimes editing me is like, girl, what the hell are you talking about? Um, but I want to figure out this balance, but I just don't have the answer yet. But I have to figure out something soon because I'm starting to, to feel, um, not that I haven't had burnout before because I've had burnout before. I've had gaps in my content. Um, even since I've become more consistent with my content, I've had gaps. I've had moments of mental health crises and all of the above. But this feels a little different. This feels a little more intense and this feels like pushing to the finale. You know, this is like the last leg of the marathon. And I, I need to figure out how to either cope with it coming to its end or I need to figure out if I want to stay longer than, you know, what may be <laughs> my finale. I, I need to figure out how to how to create a healthier um, space of creation for me because I think I am getting to that point where it's not as healthy as it should be. I think maybe that you know, I, I coming to terms with the fact that like, you know, elaborate project is just not, it's not for me. Like I can't, I don't have the capacity to do that right now. I think telling myself like, that's okay. That's fine. Um, you know, if I'm a channel that primarily does sit down videos and discussions and that's what I become, then maybe I need to be okay with that. I think that me recognizing that whatever content I put out, if I'm passionate about it, if I believe in it, if I'm enjoying it, that's what matters the most. And so coming to terms with that is, is what I need to realize. And that's not to say I haven't enjoyed the content that I've put out. Trust me, I, I really have thoroughly enjoyed the content that I've put out, but there has been some content that I've enjoyed, but it's been stressful to get it out because I've been working against a time situation that I don't really have in my favor and so I, I think it, trying acknowledging that and working within the parameters that I do have is something it's a skill set that I've got to pick up y'all I really do because if I don't this is not going to end well for me but I just wanted to talk about that a little bit I'm not going to hold y'all because I need to to vent this is just I can't continue to do that but um let me know in the comments below like if you're a creator or a viewer like have you experienced booktube burnout and what was your experience with that and how did you get past that or maybe you're not past it like maybe you're like me where you're kind of just you're either on the cusp of it or maybe you're in it or maybe you've never experienced it at all like let me know in the comments below. As always, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more content from me, click the subscribe button, hit the bell for notifications. If you're looking for ways to follow me on social media or support the channel, they'll all be down in the description box below, and I'll be back with another video soon. I'm on my own, broken along. I feel the rain crashing down. All